Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can download and install Qt Creator on your Windows 10 operating system. Qt Creator is an IDE which is mainly used for creating graphical user interface applications using C++ and additionally you can use Qt for developing many uh, languages. Mainly you can use Qt Creator for developing C or C++ applications. So to download Qt Creator, you just need to go to your favorite browser and search for Qt Creator. And the first link which will appear here will be from qt.io forward slash download. I'm going to provide this link in the description of this video also. So just go to this website and when you scroll down, you will see different versions of Qt. So there is a paid version, so you can buy Qt also. And there is an open source version you can see here, which says download for open source users. So for now, we are going to download the open source version, which is provided under LGPL license. So just click on this option, which says downloads for open source users. Just click on go open source. And then when you uh, go to this open source QT use page, and when you will scroll down, you will be able to see how you can contribute to open source. And then you will also be able to see about open source usage obligations here. Okay. When you scroll down a little bit more, you will see more about Qt. And then when you scroll down at the bottom, you will be able to see this button which says download the Qt online installer. So we want to uh, download this. So just click on this button which is going to redirect you on this page uh, and according to your operating system, it's going to recognize which operating system you have. And we want this one. So Qt online installer for Windows. So when you will scroll down here, you will be able to see uh, this uh, download button. So just click on this download button, which is going to start the download of this Qt uh, executable file. You can see it's downloading here. So once this executable file is downloaded, I'm going to just click on this file and I'm going to minimize my browser. And the first window you will see here will look like this, which says welcome to the Qt online installer. We are going to just click on the next button here. So here you need to log in to your Qt account. So if you don't have any Qt account, you can create the Qt account easily using uh, this sign up form. You just need to give your email ID and the uh, password here. So I'm going to create a new uh, account for my Qt creator. So once you have provided your email ID and the password, just click on I agree the service terms and then click on next. And then as you can see, it says you need to verify your Qt account uh, email address before proceeding to the next step. And once you click on the verification link, which you get on your email ID, which you have provided, you will see this kind of window where you need to provide your first name, last name, and then select role. Because we are just downloading Qt for our personal use, I can just uh, click on this option, which says I am an individual person not using Qt for any company. So just fill the required uh, uh, fields here and then move to the next step. And then I see uh, this uh, page. So once again, I will go to my installer and here I'm going to just click on next button, which is going to verify the account. And then we are going to go to the next uh, stage, which is Qt open source usage obligation. You just need to read everything and if you agree with those obligations, you just need to click on I have read and approve the obligation. And then uh, if you have any company, then you can give your company name. Otherwise, you can just leave this checkbox checked, which says I am an individual person not using Qt for any company. So just click on next and then you can see the Qt setup. So we are going to click on next and I can see uh, that it's retrieving some meta information from remote repository. So on this next window, I can see uh, contribute to Qt development. So here I'm going to select this option, which says disable sending any uh, usage statistics to the Qt creator and then click on next. And this will be the location where your Qt uh, related applications will be installed. So if you don't have the good reason to change this location, just leave it as default and then click on next. 
and this is an important step. So as you can see here on this next window, there are many uh, versions of Qt available and we are going to install the latest version of Qt uh, which is 5.15.0 at the time of making this video and on the left hand side you can select the package categories. So I'm going to just check on uh, the LTS and the latest release version and I'm going to just expand the topmost option which is 5.15.0 and from here you will be able to download the compiler with your Qt creator. So uh, for now I want to download the MinGW 8.1.064 bit compiler which is uh, the compiler you need to compile your C++ applications normally and because Qt helps you to create C++ GUI applications so we need a compiler for that. So I'm going to choose this MinGW 8.1.064 bit from here and then I'm going to just click on the next button. The other things if you want you can uh, download later also but for now we just need this compiler. So click on next and here just click on I have read and agreed the terms conditions uh, radio button here and just select the first option here which says Qt installer LGPL license agreement and then click on next and on this next window just leave everything as default and then click on next and then click on install which is going to start the installation of Qt so click on yes here and now uh, you can see the installation has been started so it will take some time to uh, finish also at this point you can see the details about whatever is happening on this installation stage so, so I can just click on show details and it will uh, show you all the details what it is doing for the installation of Qt so now I can see that this installation is finished and I can see this message installation finished all downloads finished so at this point I'm going to just uh, click on the next button and as soon as you do that you will be able to see this checkbox which says launch Qt creator so just leave it checked and then click on finish which is going to launch the Qt creator on your windows operating system so this is how Qt creator looks like when you open it for the first time and also you can see if you want to take the UI tour you can click on this uh, button otherwise you can just say do not show uh, again. Now in order to create a project in Qt you can just uh, click on this file icon and then click on new file or project option and here you can see uh, you have so many options here. So what we are going to do is we are going to create a Qt application so just select on uh, application Qt and then here we are going to create Qt widget application so I'm going to just select on Qt widget application as you can see you can develop C++ in Qt and Python Java and other languages are also supported so just select application Qt here and then select Qt widget application here and then click on choose and here this will be the location where your project will be saved and you just need to give the name to your project so I'm going to just uh, give the name hello world to my uh, project and then you can also choose if you want this location to be uh, your default project location for now I'm going to leave it as unchecked and then click on next button and here you can select uh, which build system you want to use so you can see QMake by default you have CMake which we generally use to uh, build our C++ program also you have QBS so for Qt a widget application we are going to use QMake and then click on next and here on this next window we need to provide the class information that means uh, what class names you want to have in your Qt widget window. So by default the main header file name is mainwindow.h and main source file name is mainwindow.cpp and the UI file name will be uh, mainwindow.ui. So just leave everything as default for now and then click on next. So now on the next window I can choose the translation file. For now I'm going to leave everything as uh, 
default which is none and then click on next and here we have the kits so as you remember we have chosen desktop min gw64 bit uh, compiler for our qt creator which is a, a compiler which we will use to build our qt c++ application so for now we only have one uh, kit here so just let it select it and then click on next and on the next window you will have the project management window so if you are using any version control or you want to add any sub project to your project then you can choose it from here and you can see for now i don't want to add any uh, version control you can add git or subversion or any other version control using this configure button i will leave it as default so this will be your project structure i will just click on finish which is going to create the project for me which is hello world project and as you can see uh, this project contains uh, so many files and folders first one is your hello world.pro file this is the project file you will have this file is going to allow you to compile your uh, uh, qt program using qmake also you have this headers folder where you have main window.h file and you have your sources folder where you have the main.cpp file and main window.cpp file you can design your qt ui using main window.ui file so just click on this file and you will see that you are now in the designer mode so from here you can pick and place uh, all these uh, widgets which are given on the left side so let's say i want to just pick and place this push button and you can just make it bigger and you can add some actions to uh, this push button but that we can see later so this is the designer view in order to go to the edit view just click on edit once again which will show you the code behind it and also your cpp file and your header files once you are happy with your code you can build your code with this button which says uh, build project this is like an hammer icon so just click on this button and then just select your main file and then click on save all which is going to build your project so once your program is built successfully you will see uh, this icon uh, will turn into green and you will see the build process at uh, this place right so let's once again build it and you can see this uh, build process you can see here because it's a small program so it's uh, building very fast in order to debug your code you can press this button so you need to uh, just uh, provide some uh, breakpoints here and then debug it in order to run your program you can just click this uh, green button so i'm going to just click on this green button which is going to run my program and you can see because i have added this button it uh, shows me this button here right so this is how you can just build and uh, run your program in qt so that is how you can download and install qt creator on your windows 10 operating system i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video